What's up YouTube? Today you're going to be watching a video about how to be polite in English. So let's get this video started. Let's go! Alright, so today we're going to be going over why you need to be polite anyways in the first place as well as some ways to be polite in English. So one of the main reasons that you want to be polite is the fact that you want to set a good first impression. Let's just say that you got a new job and you just met your boss. You want your boss to have a good impression of you. You want him to think that you're a good person, that you're a good, trustworthy employee. Now, another reason that you may want to be polite is to avoid offending others. So let's just say you started working at this new job and you have coworkers. You don't want to be getting into fights with your coworkers just because you're not talking politely or that you didn't say thank you the last time they did you a favor. Lastly, I think that being polite helps you build positive relationships. And that means just overall, when you meet someone, when you're hanging out with a friend, whoever it may be, they're going to look at you much more positively if you are polite. So I definitely think that it can enhance your life, not only financially, but also socially and even emotionally. When people think of you, you want them to think of something positive. What's up, YouTube family? Thank you so much for watching this video. I wanted to let you know that I am now offering tutoring online. So if you look at the link below in the description, you will find my Fiverr gig and there you will be able to register for either 30 minute session, a 60 minute session or a one month session. So I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so the most basic way to be polite is please and thank you. Make sure you're using your please and thank you. So for example, let's just say a coworker walked past your door where you work and you said, close the door. Instead of saying, close the door, say, please close the door. And when they do, try to wave at them because they probably can't hear you or yell out, thank you. And if you want to say something else other than thank you, there's so many ways. In another video, I've gone over no worries, which also means thank you. You could say thanks a bunch, thanks a lot. English has many expressions to say thank you. So trust me, if you want to thank someone, make sure you do it and you can always do it in a different way every single time because there's so many expressions to use. Another common way to be polite in English is to use negative questions when giving advice or recommendations. Here's an example. Let's just say that someone's mad and in the family there's tension between the father and the son. You happen to be friends with that son. So you go over and you talk to him and you're like, dude, you should really talk to your dad. Instead of saying that, you should say, shouldn't you talk to your dad about it? Shouldn't you tell him about the way you feel? You see what I did there? I'm using a negative question to give advice or recommendation. Tip number three is to disagree. But if you do, make sure you do it politely in English. Here's an example. Imagine if someone said, oh, look at that shirt. That shirt is horrible. It looks gross. And you like that shirt. So you said, what? Are you crazy? Are you stupid or are you from another planet? You see that response right there, that might end up affecting your relationship. So a good alternative to that is, I respect your opinion, but I really like this shirt. I see your point, but I disagree because another common scenario when you need to be polite in English is when someone invites you to something and you have to say no. This happens all the time and you need to know how to deal with the situation. For instance, let's just say that your friend invites you out to dinner and you had other plans already. You could say, I would love to join you, but I have other plans, unfortunately. Or you could say, that sounds really fun, but I can't go today. Or thank you so much for asking me, but unfortunately, my parents had already asked me to come over to their place tonight. And I think this last tip is the most important tip for a learner in English, and that is asking to repeat information that you miss. Okay, so let's say that you're talking to a native and the native is talking way too fast. And you're like, wait, 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 slow down. You wanna say an expression that is polite. You could say, would you mind repeating what you just said? Sorry. Or you could say, could you please repeat that for me? Okay, so as you can tell, being polite is so important in the English language. So I hope you learned something new. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And like always, holla back at your boy.